stars are starting to show. It's going to be a great night. Got to get up there. It's uh, gotten real dark real quick. Let's get this headlamp back on. Wow. Uh, nothing else. Uh, I've confirmed I'm uh, not quite Olympic fit. Let's get set up. So about 2 a.m. now, so um, warm up to the peak of this um, Geminid season. Um, had maybe a dozen that I was spotted tonight, all over the place actually, mostly concentrated over here to the, uh, the northwest, um, but also sort of behind from where I've actually been facing the the cameras which is a bit annoying but I got to see them which is awesome so the night here is so dark um, I've uh, actually had to use some uh, lighting just just to just put a nick of light on this rock formation behind me for the cameras to pick up on uh, the wind has actually been playing a bit of a bit of havoc with that Anyway, we uh, should be out now. I've got them back down so they won't be in. Anyway, we'll um, just kind of wait for this camera run over here to, to finish its time lapse and I'll move this slider just at my feet again uh, and we'll find somewhere else to put it and do another run. Um, yeah, but mainly I'm hoping to sit back and relax as well and just observe it's, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what, what might actually happen just even being a really dark sky it's been, a, been quite a while I'm really hoping I'm using the uh, the A7S here obviously that's filming at the moment I've um, cranked the ISO about up as far as I can before amp glow becomes a serious problem um, so at a, I think it's 102,400. Yeah, so trying to keep the uh, A7S free for uh, is a decent one over there. Nowhere near in frame of camera, but uh, very typical. I was, um, yeah, wanting to keep that A7S free for doing video um, for exactly moments like that, which I missed. Um, but yeah, obviously f long exposure photos will pick them up uh, well but they're all they just look like streaks of light in in uh, those photos which look very nice but just uh, watching live video of of them streak across the sky I don't know if I just got one in the background or not but hopefully I did uh, I just saw something out of the corner of my eye um, but we'll see see how we go. I might just do one, maybe two more slider runs, and then yeah, see see what I can do, see what I can get with just the uh, A7S in video. Um, I'll, we'll get this set up.
So looking at that missed meteor count, it looks as if I wasn't paying too much attention, but in reality it was the sensitivity of the camera gear I was using there that was able to pick up those meteors that weren't even visible to the naked eye. So how many meteor photos did I actually capture from the night? Well from about 2,000 photos processed, I was able to find six images within one composition that I thought would look okay as a single image. So I composed those and this is what I got.